Another form of synesthesia is the OLP, Ordinal Linguistic Personification. It means that ordinal numbers, days, month, letters, are associated with personalities. T's are generally crabbed, ungenerous creatures. U is a soulless sort of thing. 4 is honest, but 3 I cannot trust. 9 is dark, a gentleman, tall and graceful, but politic under his suavity. I is a bit of a warrior at times, although easygoing. J is male, appearing jocular but with strength of character. K is female, quiet, responsible. In a rare form of synesthesia, lexical gustatory synesthesia, individual words of spoken language evoke the sensation of taste in the mouth. Whenever I hear, read or articulate words or word sounds, I experience an immediate and involuntary taste sensation on my tongue. These very specific taste associations never change and have remained the same for as long as I can remember. Because of my musical background, the one I am interested in most is a sound colour synesthesia, in which individuals experience colours in response to music, tones, sounds. Is it the same visual experience or different? Different. It's in my, it's in my, um, my mind's eye, but I can see it. I can transport it into a visual sense away from me. So I can, it's, it's like a map, map a map of colours. That's always happened. Yeah. When you listen to any kind of no, no, not, but, but particularly with chords and chordal changes. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do, is to translate what I can see um, to an audience. Um, and whether that helps the music or not, and I feel that it does in the case of Messiel and in the case of, of the music that I understand, I, I feel that it helps it. And it was wonderful, um, um, a couple of weeks ago I did a um, performance in the um, in Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral with an organist and people came up to me after the concert and said that it gave a new dimension to the music and I suppose that's, that's lovely that, that I can do that. Well obviously it's it working in performance it's quite immediate, um, the, the pain that you have at hand and you can't always translate the immediate colour that comes into your, your head, um, but um, often I, I will listen to music over and over again and, um, and get a feeling for when, when which colour comes in. Yeah. But then um, working in a sort of improvisational way um, with jazz musicians, it's you have to just come up with it immediately, and um, and so that's it's more difficult but enjoyable. You you, you, know, you, you really have to work hard to um, to try and get a feeling for for what they're playing, and they get a feeling from you and. Vice versa, and that's that's actually what I'm very interested in at the moment. Um, I the two things are very different and separate. I, I paint um, in my studio to recorded music, um, and often I'll play the piece over and over again, and so I've got time to work on it. Um, whereas in a performance, it's far more bang bang bang, and it, it just happens. Um, but I enjoy, I'm getting to enjoy the performance aspect more and more because I've been I've played in a, as a musician before. Um, I I don't feel there's any difference between painting in public and performing in public in, like a musician. So that to me they're, they're, they're the same. It's the same thing. Synesthesia in art has historically referred to a wide variety of artistic experiments 
to synthesize different art forms like music and painting and can be observed in visual music, symbolist poetry, computer animation and multimedia. Synesthesia has been a source of inspiration for artists, musicians, poets and novelists. Kandinsky and Mondrian experimented with image music correspondences in their paintings. Messiaen captured the colours of landscapes in music and Baudelaire used synesthesia as a model of symbolist literature. Synesthetic art may refer to either art created by synesthetes or art created to convey the experience of synesthesia, which is an attempt to understand the phenomenon of synesthesia. The artwork might evoke synesthesia-like experience, but it should not be assumed that all synesthetic art accurately reflects the real experience. This category called artificial synesthesia. <laughs>